It's not often you get to plant seeds for a new business and then literally watch it grow into billions. Mike Hanginis is on America Tonight, and he found just that in Boulder, Colorado. These plants are getting exactly what they need. So it's like, a, it's like a plant spa in that environment down there. Take a walk through Sylvia Bernstein's garden in Boulder, Colorado. You don't need sunscreen or bug spray. You can't grow a pumpkin, I assume, or a watermelon. We sure try. Did you really? <laughs> Bernstein is the director of plant products for over-the-counter traded AeroGrow International, her garden, the development lab, and the basement. And if you believe what they tell you, this pepper yeah. is going to be big. Real big. Michael Bissonnette, who calls himself a serial entrepreneur, is the CEO and founder. And what they make are those high-tech contraptions the plants are growing in, and the seed packets that go in them, and the nutrient tablets that fuel the growth of both the seeds and the company. It's the razor and razor blade philosophy. This is a new industry, the kitchen crop appliance industry. So if you think toaster, you think you put your bread in, out comes toast. You put in your grow pods, out come basil, lettuce, cherry tomatoes. Mark just picked that mint. It's as minty as it's ever going to be. A hit on QVC, these kitchen countertop gardens with 19 patents pending and 15 million in R&D over the last three years invested in them have been on the market for a little over 14 months. $35,000 in sales the first quarter of last year. 6.4 million in sales the first quarter of this, a hockey stick growth curve. We launched with a product that had everything. It has all the bells and whistles. It t turns the lights on and off automatically, tells you when to water, tells you when to add uh, uh, nutrients. I mean, that's an okay. honest to goodness, fresh green bean grown right in one the of these mind. little freaking machines. Exactly. The science behind them, NASA uses it in space, is something called aeroponics. The seeds germinate without dirt, with the roots sucking up food from the nutrient-laden water. Water, by the way, that they've tested from all over the U.S. to make sure the seeds will grow. The only thing that we can't grow is anything that's subterranean. If you're a carrot or a potato, we haven't figured out how to grow you yet. It's versatile. Fresh herbs, chili peppers, vine-ripened tomatoes, and more. What they have figured out is how to sell it. Infomercials along with the QVC gigs and on the Internet and by catalog. The units are also sold in 1,350 stores with a goal of 25,000 doors down the road. Uh, we doubt we'll ever have penetration to 100% of American households, but pick a number. Is it 10%, 20%? That on an ongoing basis, it, uh, it come to expect to have a kitchen garden in their houses that's growing them fresh produce at their fingertips. Gardening without dirt inside a growth industry. Oh, and here's the question some of you have been waiting for me to ask. You can't grow illegal substances in these, can you? That would be illegal, and we don't condone that at all. <laughs> Inquiring minds. On America, Mike Eggett of CNBC in Boulder, Colorado.